The overall goal of this protocol is to demonstrate the preparation of a CD4-positive T-cell suspension for staining to visualize GD3 and GD2 ganglioside localization on the cell surface using a low number of cells. This method allows visualization of membrane glycolipids in a low number of small suspension cells, as is the case of mononuclear cells. The main advantage of this technique is that you can evaluate ganglioside expression and localization in low amounts of CD4 positive T cells by optimizing sample use. The implications of this technique could extend toward research and diagnosis of some types of T cell leukemia, as we have found that some leukemia cell lines upregulate GD3 and GD2 ganglioside expression. Begin by diluting 2 milliliters of peripheral blood from healthy human donors with 2 milliliters of sterile PBS EDTA. Slowly dispense the diluted blood on top of 3 milliliters of 1.077 density sucrose solution. Then, centrifuge for 30 minutes at 250 times G at 21 degrees Celsius with no break to generate the gradient of peripheral blood mononuclear cells. After centrifugation, the PBMCs can be clearly observed as a white ring. Collect the PBMCs with a pipette and transfer to a sterile tube for washing. After washing the cells with PBS EDTA, purify